Hello again and welcome to another edition of Tuesday Tips. My name is Aaron Harrell, the head golf professional here at Otis Park Golf Course. We have again with us Phil Burke, the superintendent here at Otis Park. And this week we're going to talk a lot about uh, frost. We've got some frost coming in probably in the next couple weeks to months. And um, Phil's going to educate us on why we have frost delays. So Phil, well, what is the main reason we have frost delays? Right, the dew essentially freezes to the grass plant. And also, not only does it freeze outside, the dew, the inside of the grass plant freezes also. So all the cell walls rupture whenever you walk on it or a cart drives on it or a mower mows it. The, the most severe damage comes from mechanical damage. Whenever you have a, a mower go across it or, you know, an example, if you were to airify, that would be really bad with there being frost on the greens. So especially with them being mowed lower than most everything else, you know, the, the frost in the rough height grass doesn't really, uh, doesn't kill it when you drive over it with frost as bad as it would if you were on a green walking on it or uh, with a mower. So. Okay, and, and, and as most of us watch, we can definitely see the weather is gonna change within the next couple of weeks, uh, get a little cooler at night. Um, what does the t do we know what the temperature has to get to for frost? Or uh, is it just a mystery game. There's a lot of conditions that can factor in. You know, typically, obviously, 32 is freezing, but I have seen frost uh, 44 before. Uh, it depends on if you have a cloudy night or a windy night. It mainly occurs on calm, clear nights. Okay. And temperatures possibly 44 and below, you can see frost. Okay. Okay, and we've definitely seen those in, in the forecast there. Um, what else about frost? I know it is very important for us to stay off the golf course. Right. Um, to stay off the, the short grass, like you said. Right, we can, you can usually see evidence of frost damage by, you'll see footprints, brown footprints, uh, 24 to 48 hours after it happens, and they usually don't go away for a while. So you're, typically it doesn't really kill the grass, Typically, it does happen, but usually it doesn't kill it. It just leaves a, a ugly marks on the green for a while. Right, and we definitely don't want that. So whenever we have a frost delay, I will definitely post it on Facebook and Twitter on the social media sites just to let you know that we are under a delay so you don't get out here and get impatient to get on the greens and, um, and, and re ready to go so, so fast. But is there anything else we need to know about frost? I uh, know that pretty much covers it. All right, great. Thank you for being here this week. And uh, just watch Facebook and Twitter for, for when those nights do get, uh, you know, a little bit colder and we might have a frost delay. I will definitely post that um, there. So thanks for watching this episode of Tuesday Tips.